you know, come on, folks. Don't be afraid. <laughs> so, uh, there is no uh, postgraduate um, program for traditional jazz. But Ryan's been studying traditional jazz clarinet. That's Ryan Calloway, folks, right here. Right? This guy right here, this guy in the colorful, light-colored suit jacket. Now, Ryan has been studying New Orleans jazz clarinet for a number of eight years now, and he's been one of the best young students around. He's, he's really learned it, so we're kind of giving him his chance to do his postgraduate dissertation here at the Monterey Dixieland Festival. And the subject is bootleg and short skirts. No, it's not. Oh, Sorry. Oh, wow. oh, no, no, no. Can we do that instead? Oh, it's the late night. It's the late night. Uh, that was a reference to a Johnny Dodds record with the, 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 the uh, Dixieland Jug Blowers from Memphis, and they did a thing called House Red Rag. And Earl McDonald, the great jug player in the band, does a sermon at the beginning talking about, um, he, it starts off in a faux sermon anyway, they mentioned that uh, short skirts and bootleg was the subject of the sermon of that day. But we're not doing that, we're doing New Orleans jazz clarinet. I want to say a few things about the Ryan's. First of all, Ryan is doing it correctly. Can you hold your instrument up? That is a 19... 29 Selmer Albert system. For those of you who don't play the clarinet, and you probably don't really care, but it's a different way of, it's a different, the way that you operate the fingers is different than on a different, on a more, on a different you, act, you actually play it like this. <laughs> but um, it's a different system, and it, the, uh, all of the clarinets of New Orleans, most, well, most of them, particularly the ones of the, the pre-1900 uh, generation all played the uh, Albert system. So Barney Bugard and Jimmy Noon and um, Johnny Dodds, and all, those, all those fellows played the Albert system. So Ryan, when he, when he endeavored to learn the style, decided he was going to do it right and do it that way. Once again, less of a decision so much of a directive. You shoving an Albert system clarinet in my hand and saying, here, just play this, because this is what I play, and it'll be easiest to teach you that way. <laughs> True. Right. Yeah, there's something to that. But he's come up, I mean, he did it, he's, he's, he's done quite well. And we're going to feature in this set. Uh, so we're going to start off with a tune. Shall we, how about, why don't you say a little bit about Willie Humphrey? Willie Humphrey is uh, not one of the more popular, um, uh, certainly swing era, clarinet players, but he um, spent some time on the river boats in the teens and 20s and uh, is just about the funkiest clarinet player from New Orleans that I can think of and one of my very favorite, has a big beautiful broad tone and um, yeah he just has the most funk and blues in his playing, it's, it's really fascinating. Uh, so if you get a chance to check out some of his recordings, he played uh, with Preservation Hall for a number of years. But like I said, I got to start early, early. Yeah, he started playing. He actually played with, he was one of the only musicians that, that Jeff, Jeff knew Willie Humphrey quite well. He grew up uh, with uh, Willie at Preservation Hall. And Still owes him money. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, uh, Willie was one of the few musicians to play with some of the famous pre-Armstrong musicians. That means musicians who were on the scene before Louis Armstrong, which is a hard thing to imagine because this is pre-1920, pre-19, musicians who were popular before 1920. He actually played with Freddie Keppert and Joe Oliver, Willie Humphrey did, when he was like 18, 17, 18 years old. He's actually, there's actually a picture of him playing at a ball game with King Oliver's band. He was just sitting in, but he was still there, and that's pretty incredible. And he made a record with a band from St. Louis, that's where Ryan lives now, uh, Dewey was a Dewey Jackson's band, yep. and Willie has a t beautiful 12-bar blues solo on a tune called Go Into Town, which is just a blues, but enough information. Let's play. Here it is just a little while to stay here. We're going to pay tribute to Willie Humphrey. Two in, yeah. <clears throat> then you got it, okay? <clears throat> Boy, I got wires, I got things falling in my pocket. A flat, there you go. Shoes on time. <laughs> 